Steve Miller is going to take you back to the Gulf Coast. This is uh, Gulf Shores, Alabama. And you can see in these live pictures from WALA, the Mardi Gras parade had just gotten underway there when apparently a vehicle that was in the parade somehow came to plow into a group of marchers, a marching band that must have been ahead of it. Whether it was a stuck accelerator, whether somebody got their foot on the wrong pedal, we don't know. Uh, but a number of ambulances have been dispatched. The uh, parade has been canceled there in Gulf Shores, and they are trying to deal with the wounded now. Let's listen in to some WALA's live coverage. But apparently there is uh, no live coverage at the moment. These pictures are live, but uh, they're not voicing over them. So again, um, Mardi Gras parade underway in, in Gulf Shores, Alabama. It had just gotten started. There was a marching band that apparently got plowed into, sounds like from the descriptions we're hearing, got plowed into from behind by one of the vehicles that was supposed to be following in the parade. How it all happened, we don't yet know. Uh, they are treating the injured. You can see uh, somebody being carried off on a stretcher there. Treating the injured, no reports yet of any fatalities, which is the good news. But again, it's quite early in this uh, whole process. These pictures are coming to you live as they, they evacuate the wounded from the scene. So when we get more information about exactly what has transpired there, we'll sit and bring it to you. It, it, according to some reporting that we're seeing on the ground, this happened at the start of a parade. Of course, it's Fat Tuesday, uh, Mardi Gras, and there was a parade in Gulf Shores uh, celebrating this day. And according to the reports on the ground to, uh, with a few of the local news uh, sources, the parade had yet to begin, but where this this vehicle uh, hit was at the point of a band or a, a group of teenagers, as is being described. Uh, the number of injuries is unknown at this time, as John mentioned. We don't know how serious they are. Obviously, they're seeing what we're seeing as well. Uh, ambulance are on the scene, and from our understanding, for obvious reasons, uh, this parade has now been canceled. So we're trying to figure out a little bit more about what's happening. We're going in and out of, of our affiliate down there in the area. So let's listen in again and see if we have some more live reporting. Grant Brown in the city of Gulf Shores. It is not a certain band. He wanted to clarify that to make sure who it is. Now, the other major thing that has happened in this incident, the parade has been canceled for today. There will be no Gulf Shores Mardi Gras parade due to the tragic incident that's happened here at the start of the parade this morning. Uh, if you have a way of reaching any of your family who may be there in attendance or friends, please uh, get in touch with them by any way you can to let them know to now leave that area. They, of course, we cannot come through this particular area at the Star Parade. They're at Highway 59 and Clubhouse Drive, but they can make the other exits uh, heading towards either Foley or Orange Beach to avoid this area if they can. Uh, we're looking live right now. As you can see several of the emergency responders still on scene, as well as uh, at least uh, one student still appears to be uh, being attended to there for making now. preparations. I think we may be checking back in with uh, Hal Schurke again, who is talking to witnesses. Let's listen in. Hal Schurke. Yeah. Yeah, guys, I'm here with Christy, uh, Christy Wallace, and, and Christy, can you just kind of tell me what you what you saw from your vantage point and what you know at this time? Um, I looked back and seen kids screaming and running, and I turned and a van was running over them. It was a white-looking van with MOAA on it, so I assumed it was in the parade, and I could see kids stuck underneath the vehicle. And um, other ones fleeing and some just rolling behind it. People running out of the parade trying to help pull the kids out from underneath. And um, other than that, I don't, you know, know too much. Um, the band people get to the side and doing a roll call. And, and then the paramedics were right there. And all the fire department luckily was right here. And they rushed to the scene and started stabilizing everybody. And, um, I know that they're taking nine kids to the hospital, so it was nine. And, um, but, uh, I've heard conflicting reports now. The Gulf Shores uh, marching band was set to be at the beginning of this parade with a high school marching band. Is that who this was? That was Gulf Shores High School. Okay. Well, so uh, I appreciate your time letting us know what you saw uh, because a lot of people are trying to figure out just how this happened and, and, and what was done 
when, when you saw this happen, were there a lot of people that went in to help by the way? Yes, yes. Right. Well, everybody was screaming on the sidelines, and people were rushing in to help um, with anything they could do. But then the paramedics got there and tried to contain the scene a little bit more and see what was going on with nine different areas. Very chaotic. I appreciate it. Very, your time. very chaotic. <laughs> well, they, 